Hello and welcome to Saturday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I am chuckling away to myself um, because one of the great constructors in the world of Sudoku is, I think, trolling me with this puzzle today. Uh, the puzzle on the screen is called XY Different Sudoku and it is by Clover. Now, you will know if you're a follower of the channel the regard and the esteem in which I hold Clover's puzzles and <laughs> this is very funny to me because in an XY difference puzzle, as, as you, all of you who are patrons of the channel will know, because you'd be working through Glum Hippo's Fossil Hunt, in an XY differences puzzle, you normally get a puzzle covered in diamonds. And if we just, uh, the basic rule is that if you have um, two cells that are separated by a diamond, that they have the difference equal to the first digit in their row and column. So look at this one and three here in column four, they have a difference of two and that is equal to the first number in the column, so it deserves a diamond. Let's find another one, let's try and look across one. Look here, this three and four have a diamond because the first digit in their row is a one, so they have the correct difference if you like, so they get a diamond. Well, Clover has produced an XY difference puzzle with no diamonds at all in it. <laughs> I've no idea how hard this is, um, but it's certainly quite an amusing take on the whole genre. Um, and I'll read the rules properly in a moment or two. Before we kick off, what do I need to tell you about? Mark is back. Well, apologies for last night. Um, Mark had some technical glitch on his travels, um, and that is why the video, uh, last night's second video, was a bit late, and it was also by me, actually. And it was also, uh, unusually, um, a puzzle that actually has appeared on the channel before. So it was Hawk Avatar's strange uh, small puzzle. Um, and uh, basically, well, the long story is that both Mark and I thought that that was scheduled for for, for each of us to record. So Mark recorded a solve and I recorded a solve and we didn't know that the other was doing that. So Mark released his video first and I was like, hang about, I've just recorded this puzzle. Um, but I obviously didn't want to release release it then. Um, and that was a few months ago. So yesterday you got to, well, a rare occur occurrence actually on the channel, you got to see uh, me solve the same puzzle that Mark had solved a few months ago. So apologies for that, but we, we, we did want to keep up our record of producing two videos every day since the start of lockdown, whenever that was. It was years ago now. And that's what, that, well, that's what happened last night. But anyway, Mac, Mark is back from uh, Travels Now and so all is good in the world and we should be back to the normal schedule with a Mark video at 11 o'clock tonight. Um, and we're going to be streaming Teji now, he's back as well. We, we still, hopefully it's probably one more stream's worth of, of Teji that we're due. And we're going to be doing that on Monday night at 10 o'clock UK time. And we'd love to have your company if you're interested in watching quality puzzle games. Not necessarily quality puzzlers playing those games, but we shall see. Um, I've got some birthdays to do today. Alice, oh no, okay. Now, Alice, Alice, you... I think you've made an error because you did write us a lovely email about your husband uh, who is 37 today and happy birthday Alice's husband and I know that you're getting cake Alice's husband as well but what I don't know is your name I'm afraid Alice wrote us a long email explaining about your birthday but as far as I could tell there was no name revealed in it so Alice's husband happy birthday <laughs> um, Olivia down in Spain, you are turning 18 today on the 18th of February. So that's serendipitous indeed. And Olivia, I hope that you have a brilliant day. Um, oh, and Dylan, I missed your birthday yesterday. I'm so sorry about that. Um, Alyssa wrote to us and reminded me in an email last night that I was meant to do your birthday and I messed up and you turned 30 which is a huge birthday over there in New Jersey. How do you say New New Jersey? New Jersey? Is that what I'm meant to say? I don't know. I don't even know, know if I'm allowed to imitate accents anymore, but that I did attempt it and I apologize for that if I've caused anyone offense. Um, and then Ulrika, you've turned 54 today. And I know this because your son Emery wrote to us and um, it was a lovely email actually, and he described you as a wonderful person. And I believe you use my videos to go to sleep. Well, <laughs> it's my, uh, yes, 
Uh, well, I, I, I'd rather I'd rather this happened in videos than it happened in real life, to be honest. And I suspect I've been at parties with some of you watching this and you will claim that I sent you to sleep. I didn't mean to do that either. Um, anyway, the only other thing to mention, which is actually very relevant today, is Glum Hippo's Sudoku Hunt. I mentioned it already. It's, it's our patron reward for February. It is available uh, right now and you've still got a couple of days left um, to send in your solution and to be in with a chance of winning the, the, the Hippo plushie, which I know a lot of you have had your, your eyes on. And Glum Hippo's Hunt is entirely about XY different Sudokus. So I was going to say that today's puzzle may prove to be a useful primer if any of you are stuck, but I very much doubt it will be actually, because all of the tips that you tend to learn about XY difference puzzles probably are not going to apply in a puzzle with no diamonds in it. But anyway, some of you have finished the whole hunt already. So let me offer, offer my congratulations to Christopher Johnson, Rachel Edwards, Ben Cotter, Alex Miller, Matt Jenkins, James Farrer, Scott Nakamura, Stevie D. Are you a fan of Liverpool? Stevie D sounds quite like Stevie G. Um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Ben Mason, Hrude Malabotla, I want to say. I hope I've got that right. Nathan Cox, J.D. Barty, uh, Robert McNulty, Angela Cooper, John Reed, Corey Bear, and Sebi and Conan. You all sent in the correct entries. Very well done indeed. Now let me read you the rules of Clover's puzzle and let's see what, what she's got going on today. So normal Sudoku rules apply. And then we've got the XY difference rule, which is that if two adjacent digits in the same row or column are separated by a diamond, then their difference is equal to the first digit in their row or column. All possible diamonds are given. <laughs> Brackets note that because there are no diamonds shown in this puzzle, there are no adjacent pairs whose difference equals the first digit in their row or column. So let's imagine, I'm trying to see a good example. Let's imagine that square was a five. Now, if that square was a five, then we can have no dominoes in this, this column where the digits differ by five. Because if they did differ by five, uh, let me try and, oh, I've managed to pick numbers that are totally useless, haven't I? Let's try two and seven there. If we did have a two seven pair here, they ought to have a diamond between them because they have a difference of five. And yet there are no diamonds. So in fact, if this was a five, a two seven domino in this column would be absolutely impossible. <laughs> Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Beautifully symmetric grid with really not very much information in it. Um, now, um, well, I suspect we've got to look at... Well, I want to say we must have to look at s these sorts of cells because at least there is a small restriction applying to those cells in the sense that we can't for this digit for example we're not just going to be able to eliminate two five nine and six from this square so in theory this cell could be one three four seven or eight but two and five have a difference of three and there's no diamond so we can take three out of there five and nine have a difference of four so we can take um four out of there but we probably, yeah, well, we can do one better thing than that. If this was a one, then it would have a difference of one with it with two, which is it, which is in, in its own domino. So that can't be a one either. So this is seven or eight straight away. Now let's try this square. Um, although this, or this is worse from a Sudoku perspective than this one, because that, that cell at least saw four digits. This only sees three digits, I think. So in theory, this can be one, two, three, five, seven, or eight. Uh, right, well, it can't be five because nine and four have, have a difference. It can't be two. One, three, seven, or eight, really? Oh dear. That's, 
That's really, that's really underwhelming, isn't it? I'm now thinking, is there some aspect of this that I don't understand? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is. Let's try this one, which can't be two, five, six, or nine. So it's one, three, four, seven, or eight. Now that one can't be one again, because that would have the wrong difference with two. It can't be four this time. Uh, all three. Oh, I see. Right, so we get a 7A pair in box one. Um, so, okay, all right, let's do Sudoku. This is a very... Clover, this is absolutely outrageous making me do Sudoku a mere 10 minutes into the video. But look, if this four is now over here, look, by Sudoku. So four, oh, four is in one of two places in box seven. Uh... Right, but that's beautiful. That is beautiful. How can this be a four? And it can't be, because although I don't know which of these cells is eight, I know one of them will be, and it will have a difference of four with four. So if we put four in the corner, uh, not three in the corner, if we put four in the corner, one of these will be an eight, and it should have a diamond. Whichever one of those is an eight should have a diamond. So four goes in this square, Which me? Oh, what, right. What's that saying then? It's saying I can't have a difference of four along here. So that square can't be a nine, can it? Is that right? Because if that was a nine, nine would have a difference of four with f four with five. So nine now gets elevated into one of these two squares, which means nine is in one of those two squares. Um, and we've got one, three, what else have I got to place in this? One, three, and why can't I see what the other digit is? One, three, and nine. Um, ah, all right, this one can't, oh, that's clever, I see. So this is the digit I should have focused on, but I should have appreciated it's not only impossible for it to be nine, it's impossible for it to be one, because it, one, would have the same difference as nine would with five. So in fact, we get a one nine pair at the top of the grid. And this square is a three. And that's beautiful. Wow, this, I mean, actually, I wonder if this, this is exactly where Clover started designing this puzzle. Because the way that you can actually force this whole box with an absence of diamonds is abs it's very pretty, isn't it? This square can't be a one because the three, four pair would have a difference of one. So nine, one. Now this, <laughs> this can't be eight because if that's an eight, eight and nine have a difference of one. So we've got to go seven and eight. This square here is now. So, oh, right. So that has reduced this. This is now three or seven. And it's not three, because three would have a difference of, of one. With If this is three, the three and four have a difference of one. So that's a seven. Wow, not a red seven. It's just a seven. So seven is in one of these two squares. Nine is in one of these three squares. Um, presumably, I need to look at this square. But let me just think about this for a moment or two longer. Maybe I'm meant to actually do more Sudoku. Six is in one of those two squares. Nine is in one of these two squares. Oh, goodness. Seven is quite restricted in box two. It's got to be in one of two positions. Uh, I don't know if I can do better than this. My, my instinct is to check this square. So let's have a look at this. This square in pure sudoku land terms is two three four or eight i think but it can't be four because nine and five have a difference of four it can't be one okay it was never it never wanted to be one did it is there anything else oh oh hang on i think i must have wanted to put eight in there and i've put nine i can see that cannot be nine no, now I've now I've got to check the cell again. Two, three, four, two, three, four, and eight. Okay. So this can't be eight, can it? Because that would have a difference of one with nine. So this is down to two or three. 
but yeah I don't think I can do that that's annoying <laughs> um, oh dear all right so we have to look somewhere else now so I'm tempted to say perhaps this square because that square is very Sudoku restricted because 5, 6 and 9 don't appear in those squares so that square is 2 or 3 by Sudoku and we can get rid of 3 because it sees a 9, 6 pair right, so that's 2 which means 2 is in one of these 3 squares I've just noticed, look, 3 oh, we have an opportunity for a 3 in the corner down here oh no, oh, well we do we do have that opportunity, and in fact, I'm going to take that opportunity and write three in the corner. If you can't see why you can write three in the corner, um, you don't deserve to sing the REM song. No, but do pause the video and see. The reason is that in this column, we can't have dominoes with a difference of one, so three can't go next to the two. And if it can't go next to the two, that's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, losing its religion. Um, right, so it must be this column then, 5, 6 and 9 to place, right, so this square is 5 or 6 and it's not 6, oh it's not 6, I could have got this before, 6 can't go next to 7 in the column because of the 1, ah, <laughs> okay, so that's 6, that's 5, um, I'm, I, I'm saying that's 5, like I just proved that, did I just prove that, 5, 6, yes I did, I did in effect, um, so this is a 6-9 pair, and we can, oh, we can, I see the whole column's just finished, that whole column just gets finished. That's lo it's lovely, isn't it? As usual. Uh, I mean, this is the thing about, Clover has an almost unique ability, I think, to just make puzzles seem so simple and yet so elegant. Um, now... Ooh, seven there. Oh, bobbins. Okay, I was about to say this can't be a one-eight pair because one and eight would have a difference of seven. But this being a one or an eight already sort of caters for that, doesn't it? It's saying this. No, this still this couldn't be a one-eight pair anyway because this needs to be a one or an eight. Oh, what about one and three then in the row? Yes. That must be fair enough, isn't it? If this was a 1-3 pair, this 2 would, would, there would need to be a diamond. So that must be a 1 or a 3. Um, okay, and that can't be a 1, because if that was a 1, 6 and 1 have a difference of 5. There we go. 3 goes into the grid. 1-8 pair here. We can... Oh, nine. Nine is, nine is with the, you know, normally in a normal XY puzzle, Clover, um, XY differences puzzle. Um, nine is the sort of the thing you might be able to focus on in one of these cells because it will be in the row or column that doesn't have any diamonds in it because obviously it's an impossible difference. Uh, but in this puzzle, we don't really know what's going on with nines. Um, now, can I get the order of this 1-8? I mean, th the other place I'm thinking is those three cells, obviously, because they've got to be relatively restricted. Uh, hmm, don't know. Am I supposed to be appreciating something obvious? I I'm not sure. Uh, I can't, I can't see how to do it. All right, we're going to have to have a look at these squares, which are threes, fours, and sevens. Let's put that in and see if we can deduce anything. Yes, all right, I can do one thing. That's not seven, because seven and nine have a difference of two, which would therefore need a diamond. Three can't go here, because it would have the correct difference with five. Um, what about, it's Sudoku, <laughs> it's Sudoku again, isn't it? 
So, okay. Well, the way I think it might be Sudoku is that row six is seven is in this domino, but column four is seven is in this domino. So if we need um, a seven that's simultaneously in that domino and that domino, it's there. That's the only place it can live. And that gives us this digit and it gives us this digit. Which doesn't give us this digit, which is mildly surprising. Okay, we might be about to get badly stuck, I fear. Three is in one of those cells. Uh, what else could we do here? We could, we could look at six is in one of those cells that I, I do fear that there's quite a lot more Sudoku I could be focusing on. Can I, can I get this digit now if I know that that's a seven? So if that's a three. It's quite hard to place four in the column, isn't it? Maybe that's a sensible question anyway. Where does four go in this column? It's got to be in one of those two cells. So if this was a three, then the four couldn't go here because it would have the correct difference with seven. But if this is a two, we're stopping this being an eight. Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what to do there. Okay, I'm going to change tack, I think. I'm going to think about these two digits because these are affected by these three cells, aren't they? So from a pure Sudoku perspective, what can this digit be? Two, four, six, I think. Oh, I see it's all the even numbers. It's got all the even numbers at its disposal. But we can get rid of some of these even numbers because two is the difference between three and five and four is the difference between three and seven. And we get this down to six or eight, which we can't do anything with the one, can we? Um, Hmm. All right, we better try this one. So this digit is either from a pure Sudoku perspective again, two, four, five are all possible. Eight is possible. But, oh, that's no good at all, actually. Look, I, was, I didn't f focus on this, but three, six and nine all have the same difference. So they have a difference of three. That has a difference of three and three wasn't even possible here. So this digit is really underwhelming. Wow. That's a bit worrying. That is a bit worrying. So what is it then that I meant to think about? Is it going to be, well, maybe it's down here then. Let's, let's have a look down at the bottom of columns two and three. It could actually, yeah, it probably is Sudoku in one of these positions. One, four, five, and eight into these squares. One, four, five, eight. We can get rid of four from this one. Now, what can we what can we get rid of by reference to? Okay, this square can't be a one or an eight, because if it was a one or an eight, it would have a difference of seven with this digit. So that's four or five. It's not affected by the nine. This square, I don't think, is affected by. No, it's not. It's not affected by anything. This, that's not affected by anything either. Oh no, <laughs> we've, we've come to a, a an absolute halt here. And I, I don't think these digits are gonna be useful because we've got a difference of nine at the top of the column. One, two, seven, and eight into these squares. That's not seven. Um. It must be Sudoku. Where are we missing some Sudoku? Where does three go in column four? That's a good question. Because it doesn't go there and it doesn't seem to be able to go there. So it goes there. Ah, ah, it was that simple. Right, well, that's going to be helpful, isn't it? So now one, two, four and eight into these squares, which I'm actually going to fully pencil mark. 
and try and do some whittling down. So what can't this be? And the answer is unfortunately, well, okay, it can't be, it can't be one because it would have the correct difference in the row. So it's two or eight, but nothing, no two and eight can't have a three difference with either of those digits. So that doesn't work. What about that? That can't be four because that would have the correct difference. Oh, that's huge. That's it. If this can't be four, where does four go in the column? And from our pencil marks, we know it goes at the bottom because we had a, a corner pencil mark in those two squares. Now that fixes this digit. So we've now definitely got a five down here somewhere. And we've definitely got a one in one of these two squares. And we can eliminate the one from this square because of the four and it would have the correct difference. So the one goes there, we get a two eight pair. Though the nine is useless, bobbins. Um, Oh, that's very pretty though. Now I'm going to look at this domino, because how could this be a two or an eight? That diff that domino would have a difference of six. That doesn't work. So this has got to be the one. Oh, that's huge. So this becomes a five eight pair. That becomes a one. That becomes an eight. Right. What's going on now? We've got a two seven pair left in this column, and we can presumably do something useful. Yes, I can. Look, this is so well put together. Look, four and seven would be a difference of three. So we could do this, two and seven go into the grid. Um, now I can still keep, I can keep going. That can't be five because that domino would have the correct difference. Eight, five. So six is, is an impossible difference in this. So this square can be neither two nor eight because that would be a correct difference, wouldn't it? So that square has got to be the two or the eight. And that square's got to be a nine by Sudoku, therefore. Oh, and that gives me a nine here, apparently, according to pencil marks. Um, not pencil mark, you know, he, he's of no help in solving this puzzle. Um, now we've got two, five, eight into those squares by Sudoku. We can, uh, we can't do anything with that. Literally nothing. Um, okay. That's a bit distressing, isn't it? Um, <laughs> what about... What about... I don't, I don't know. I'm not actually very sure where to look here, if I'm honest. I pre Probably where I've got to look is in the top row. Just because these are the, these are the things that are generating differences, but let me just—I'm just going to have a qu closer look at box eight first. Two, two, five, two, five, six, and eight. Let's put that in. Two, five, six, eight. Now, five and eight. Well, obviously, we actually, we can take eight out of here. So this becomes two, five, and six. Two and five have a difference of, oh, hang on. Well, that's, oh, I see, sorry, I hadn't appreciated. By Sudoku, this is a five, six pair. That's bad. So five comes out of here. We get a two, eight pair here. And five and six are done. Oh, it's just Sudoku. Ah, so that becomes an eight at the top of the column. And therefore, I need one, two, and four into these squares which I can do the four. Four has to go here. This is a one, two pair. We don't want to have differences of eight. So that's this is resolved. Two and one can be placed in the grid. Eight goes here, eight goes here, two goes here, eight goes here. We get a flurry of activity. We get one, seven and nine at the bottom of the grid. We still don't know what, what's going on at the top of the grid though. Nine can come out of this square. These two squares have got to include one and three. So we can just fill them in. These squares have got to be one, five, and eight, which we can't fill in, but we can do a little bit of elimination. And two, four, and seven here. Again, a little bit of elimination, but nothing major, I think. Okay, so let's have a look at box, um, box two, where we need two, six, seven. 
we, um, okay so it's going I think it's going to be this digit that we have to focus on what can we eliminate from here if this was two it wouldn't be right would it there would need to be a diamond between those squares so it is six now I'm not sure I trust that so I'm going to go down the column now and check well we haven't generated a six difference yet so that's good so the two and the seven can be placed if that's right still haven't generated a six difference oh three now has to be here by sudoku these have to be a two four five triple so these squares have to be one and something one and six which we can oh hang on didn't i just say two four five triple here i think i'd that's what that's what my brain heard me say and I, I was just about to write a six in there by sudoku which feels like it was correct logic but obviously not given what i pencil marked there so let's hope that that was not nonsense one here means i get a seven at the bottom of the grid so i'm left with a one nine pair there this is no longer a seven um two four five and eight this is a naked single that can only be eight by Sudoku. So that becomes five, one, eight, one, nine. This is finishing. This could be finishing, you know. Um, two, well, this is a, this digit is a seven by Sudoku. Ah. Um, OK, so all we've got to do, I say all we've got to do is work out which one of these is restricted. Let's try this one first, because that is feels like we've got more digits in this column. Is there a difference of two anywhere? No, but there is a difference of four at the bottom. So that has to be two, which means this is four. This is two. This is seven. This is two. This is five. This is five. This is four. Now I'm going to check this column and this column to see whether or not we, we, we want no differences of five. Oh, no, that's OK. I think no. Dif oh, I thought that was some reason my brain said that was that was a a difference of four but it's not it looks right it looks right there we go that's how to solve xy difference sudoku with a difference by clover in the sense that there were no diamonds at all in the grid very very entertaining as always um thank you very much to clover thanks for to glum hippo i think it was glum hippo who wrote to us and said you must try this puzzle by clover because it is very good we've and we've and it was. And we've all been trolled by the great lady. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll be back later, hopefully, with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. And I enjoy the comments if you would like to leave one, especially if they're kind. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.